Okay, number 11 says Miss Musto opened a new coffee shop. She recorded the number of customers she served between opening and noon for the first 20 days of business. Her results are shown on the graph. So if we look at this, they want to know which line best fits the data. And the gist of this here is let's start with examining the equations that were given as choices. Okay, the first choice A, if you look at these equations, these equations are all in slope intercept form. So in each of these equations, the slope of the line, which is rise over run, is given in front of x. And then the y-intercept is the value of b. So just looking at these equations initially, an intercept of plus 10 would be down here. And in choice um, C, the intercept is plus 30, which would be up here. And to me, um, just looking at those in general, those values are above and below where the typical starting points would be. I think the other intercepts, the plus 20 and plus 20, these two options here, that would be a better starting point for the line. That's more in the center of the data. So what I would do immediately is I would cross off A and I would cross off C and say that those equations don't have appropriate y-intercepts for that data, and so I don't want to use those. Um, next, I need to then decide between choices B and D, which is the most appropriate. And so the key is to recognize that in choice B, the slope is 2 over 1, and in choice D, the slope is 1 over 1. Now, the scale on these axes makes it hard to rise 2 and run 1 because we're counting by tens on the y-axis, and we're counting by two and a halfs on the x-axis. But if I go ahead and make these maybe a little easier to interpret, um, I could say this. A slope of 2 over 1 could be thought of as 20 over 10. And this slope of 1 over 1 could be um, thought of as a rise of 10 and a run of 10. So if I graph these two lines um, for choice B, if I go from my starting point, my y-intercept of 20, if I go up 20 units and over 10, that would be here. This would be choice B. If I go up 20 units and over 10 units again, over to 20 here. This is choice B. So, there we go. And then if I check the other slope, slope of 1 would be a rise of 10 and a run of 10. Rise of 10, run 10 would be here for choice D. And then rise 10 and run 10, and that would be here for choice D. And so, if I look at these two options, um, this is B, this is D. Which one is a better fit for the da data? I would then have to eliminate D and say that B is a better fit. All right? So there we have it.